right, so I wanted to get started just sharing a clip of this video. Have you seen the documentary, The Weight of the Nation? No. You need to. Um, right. I'm pretty sure you can watch it for free. It's probably on Netflix, um, but we're just gonna watch this little minute clip. Or something? Yes, you can't. Uh uh. Better? No. <laughs> I can hear you, but I can't hear the slide. Let me pull it up on YouTube. I have it turned up all the way. Can you hear it? Uh uh. No. Nothing. Nope. That's weird. Oh, maybe because I have my Bluetooth headset in. <laughs> yeah, I could do it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm like, I've done this before and it's worked just fine. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. Yep, there. I heard your mouse click. Okay. And TJ just woke up from the snap, so that's good time. Oh, good. Okay. I'm five foot ten and 242 pounds. I always say this is the biggest I'm ever going to be, and I said that like 20 pounds ago. A third of Americans are obese, another third is overweight. Obesity is the biggest threat to the health, welfare, and future of this country. I've always been overweight. I've got diabetes. Sleep apnea, heart disease. Everything's hurting now. It's a lot easier to lose weight than it is to keep weight off. This is probably going to be the first generation of children who are going to have a shorter life expectancy than their parents. 18% of our children right now are obese. It's not only health, it's about survival and well-being of the United States as a nation. You don't crave broccoli, and our generation has grown up craving a Big Mac. I do crave broccoli. I think that there's something better for it. Unless we're able to control this epidemic, we're going to have an abundance of chronic disease. All of us have to be part of the solution to reduce obesity. The weight of the nation is out of control, but we can fix that. If we don't now take this as a really urgent national priority, we are all going to pay a really serious price. Obesity will crush the United States in oblivion. So that's just the, like a preview of the documentary. Um, you need to watch it. And that just kind of goes yeah. to show you how important your job is as a coach. Mm -hmm. There are so many people out there that need you. Okay. Yeah. Um, so definitely, you know, I know you're already big into fitness and stuff, but watch the documentary. It's going to educate you even more, um, on the issues that are going on in our country and you know how you can be a part. We're going to go over that, um, in a little bit. And so I wanted to show you this other video. This is our CEO, Carl Deichler. You can follow him on Facebook. He's amazing. We have like the coolest, most down to earth CEO ever. I've met him several times. Um, He's just a super cool dude that has a huge heart and a mission. Um, we're really blessed to have him. So he made this short video. Last week, the winners of the Team Cup asked me what the most important thing for any coach to do is. And I said, build a book of success stories. People who you have helped succeed with a challenge group. So that's... This is my book. These are the winners of the Beach Body Challenge. I keep them in a book on my desk. I'm going to take it to Philadelphia and to Pittsburgh. These are the people who, uh, literally hundreds of them, have transformed their lives, transformed their health. They didn't care what the economy was like. They didn't care what the presidential election was like. They just did the work. That's what we do at Team Beach Body. 
So that's, um, you know, our mission, get results. You get results, you be proof the product works, you help other people. So it's important that you're following a program from start to finish. You're drinking Shakeology every day and you're inviting and helping people do the exact same thing. And so yeah. there could be like shiny objects, like recognition that Beachbody puts out for success club and rank advancements and all this stuff. Um, it's really important to remember the heart of why we're here and what we're doing. And so I know you have these big income goals, which are going to happen if you focus on this. Mm -hmm. Cause I know from experience, I got caught up in like the business of Beachbody and building a team and all that stuff, which is awesome. Uh, but I lost sight of my own health and fitness and uh -huh. I ended up getting really sick. That's when I got adrenal fatigue. I got burnt yeah. out, stressed out. Um, and I kind of lost sight of why I was doing this in the first place. And it was more about money and recognition as opposed to helping other people working on myself. So it's so important that that's got to stay like at the forefront. That's like our mission, right? Yeah. Um, and then we start doing personal development. So are you doing personal development right now? Yeah. I mean, constantly, <laughs> constantly. What are you doing? Yeah. Um, well, most mine are mostly centered over my health and fitness, but mainly just trying to realize that, you know, what I'm dealing with now is not always going to be part of the picture. And most people are dealing with much worse, if, you know, so I, that that's my trying to like bring it back to reality mm -hmm. and trying just to focus on what we're, what I'm working on right now, not trying to see into the future, not trying to overanalyze or cause I can get really bad anxiety and stress out. So I'm, I'm trying to learn how to control that a little bit more and just yeah. mellow out. <laughs> yeah. So maybe some good personal development. Um, I recommend doing stuff like, obviously you want to do business building, personal development in mm -hmm. addition to fitness, personal development, but also something that's going to like fill your soul. Mm -hmm. and that's going to really work with mindset. And so I'll listen to like Joyce Meyer devotionals. Um, you are a badass is a really good book. Um, we have a whole bunch of ones that we recommend on our team training site and I'll show you. That's awesome that you're already doing it though. A lot of coaches sign up and I didn't, I had no clue <laughs> what personal development was. Um, yeah. and the more personal development that you do, the faster your business will grow. So your business growth is a direct reflection of your personal growth. Mm -hmm. So I have these and I seriously, I'm listening to personal development all the freaking time. I'm either yeah. watching um, videos or I'm listening to a book on audible or I'm listening to a podcast. I was just listening to um, a purpose driven life by Rick Warren. Before that I was listening to fitness, nutrition stuff. Uh, yeah. But that's like it. The most important things, obviously, work on you, your fitness, personal development, your mindset, help other people. So that's kind of like every single day we're doing those things. So if you go to coach resources, at the very top is personal development. Okay. So I have the ones that you could start with. Um, some of these, like this, will have the direct link to um, the audio or the PDF. Um, oh, oh, oh! Come back. Come back. So that's the PDF of the compound effects. So you don't have to actually go buy it. Um, this is the YouTube link. I think this is Tony. Do you know Tony Robbins? Yeah. Oh, sweet girl. Um, <laughs> you're easy. Um, so some, I'm obsessed with him. Have you been to any of his events? No, no. You, you don't have a lot in Kansas. <laughs> no, you, I, Girl, I had one, so we had three coaches from our team at the UPW that happened a couple weeks ago. One of them went from New York to San Jose. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah. we'll have to, I'll have to look around and see. The next one is in March. Right now they have buy one, get one tickets. And so you could, oh, cool. yeah, you could see who else on the team wants to go. Um, and kind of go in with them. I'm, I'm not sure after March when the next one will be, but I'm going to see, I went to UPW um, several months ago and now I'm going to date with destiny. Um, 
in like 10 days. I don't know. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's coming up. Um, but UPW is amazing. So if you already know Tony, you like him, you need to go. And we're actually having our team call is going to be from the three people who went to the past UPW on December 12th. And so oh, cool. you make sure you get on that because they'll be talking about their experience, um, making sure that you get to the next one because you're going to love it. Um, some of these are audios. Um, so this is just kind of like a list of ones that you can Let's start go, with. Mommy. You're ready? Let's go. I'm not ready yet. I have a phone call and then I'll be ready. Can you go hang out with daddy? You're Me? dressed and ready to rock and roll. Me? You can be on your phone call today. I can't? No. No? No. Well, I'm happy you took a nice nap. You want to say hi? Hi. Hi, buddy. How are you? Good. Good. Well, why don't you go hang out with Daddy, and then I'll finish up really quick, and then we can go see the lights, okay? Go ask Daddy for a snack. Your apple's on top of the clementines. Are you, are you going to my pants? I would love to. <laughs> I did wear my pants. You didn't button your pants? No. That's okay. You have to get them on. That's the most important thing. Boom. Okay. Um, and so I also have, you know, more Tony Robbins. He, um, are you familiar with incantations or affirmations? Florida. Okay. So this is, he talks about um, incantations um, here. And then I love Danny Johnson. She went from being homeless to starting a business from the trunk of her car in a payphone booth to making a million dollars within two years. Yeah. Um, so she's awesome. I have some of her training here, but she has a ton of stuff on YouTube too. Um, depending on what you need to work on. So, you know, cool. we come in in different parts of our businesses. I have a coach who's really struggling with figuring out her why and her purpose. So I'm getting her some personal development based on that. So depending on what you need to work on, you know, it's personal. So, <laughs> so if you're like, Rachel, what should I do for personal development? Let's just chat it out and be like, okay, what is it that you need to work on right now? And I'll give you some recommendations. So dreaming big, if you need confidence, want to learn from the top coaches. These are some of my favorite podcasts too. Um, yeah, I listen to that one. So you have podcasts? You have the podcast uh -huh. up? Oh, yep. dude, you're on top of it. This is great. So a lot of people have to start from scratch with personal development and you're already like into it. So that's great. And you're already into fitness. So you're going to yeah. be awesome. okay. Um, your websites, beachbodycoach.com forward slash your username, my shakeology. There's also coachmobile.teambeachbody.com. So yeah. if you go to this site, let me show you quickly. So all you need is to know what program you'll enter your coach info and click submit. You need to have the person's email address, their Shakeology flavor, and what program they want to get. And so you can enroll them as a coach or a customer. Oh, cool. So they don't have to do anything? You, they'll get an email Mommy. and then they just need Mommy. to fill out their billing and that's it. What's up? Oh, you took a nap? Yeah. So that makes it kind of easy, right? Yeah. Can you want to play with me? I'll play with you as soon as I end up. Can you go ask Daddy to play with you? Daddy! Daddy. My girls are going to hear it. I'll be down here in a second. <laughs> Daddy asking him to play with you, okay? No, he, no, 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 no. He's supposed to be here. Huh? He's supposed to be here. He wasn't here? He's supposed to be here. Okay. He's yeah. doing an accent. He's here. Huh? I can see, I can hear his accent. Oh, you think so? Uh -huh. I think he's starting to get a little French accent. French accent? Oui? Oui. You say, je m'appelle TJ? Je m'appelle TJ. Good job. Say comme ça? Comme ça. Oui. Très bien. First of all. That's funny. I didn't like hear that before, so that's so funny. There's also... I want to see that. <laughs> There's also coachingcoach.com, so I'll show you. I'm on the I'm on the Ouch. So with this, you'll create an account, and then you'll log in. So I already have my account. I'm just going to log in. And then with this, it has to download and all that. You got our bumps up. You got our bumps up. Oh, are you? 
Oh, yeah? So there's a video. This was created by Jason Diebold. This guy's awesome. He's kind of like, he was an engineer before he became a coach. Um, now he's a millionaire, multimillionaire with Team Beachbody. Um, and he's just like a super smart, awesome dude. So all you'll do is enter your coach ID here, and then it'll pop up your screen name. And then you'll have your default coaching link. So if someone wants to sign up for a free membership with um, the club, um, club membership, if they want to become a coach, if they want to get, um, look at the challenge packs, if you want to send them a video, if you want to send them core to force challenge pack link, um, any fitness program, any nutritional thing. So if they want to get Turbo Jam, that's like the direct link to Turbo Jam. So I like this better than sending them to your Beachbody Coach website, um, since you can get them the customizable link. Okay. So what was it? Coaching codes. Coachingcodes.com. Coaching codes. Coachingcodes.com. Exactly. Good job. <laughs> So there's coaching codes and also coachmobile.teambeachbody.com. Dot com. Très bien. So those are just some cool sites to play around with a little bit. And then some more important info, um, Coach Relations, they're open 24-7. So that's the number. You can also request to do a live chat with them. If you scroll down to the bottom of your coach online office, there's a little contact us button and you can just do it live chat with them. Um, a lot of questions that you might have, you can find in the FAQs um, or Google or on our team training site or in our team's Google Drive. Um, so obviously I want you to know that I am here for you and I wanna help you succeed, but a lot of like little questions that you have, you can kind of have the brain of a CEO from the start yeah. and be like, I wanna figure this out on my own right? Yeah. Um, and you'll usually figure it out before I respond back to your question, <laughs> especially yeah. with like the time change by the time I get it. Like you could have easily done the research and figured it out and been like, oh, that's it. That was easy. What are you doing? Where do you learn how to do this? TJ? <laughs> no, 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 no. I got good. Okay, I'm a so, bad guy, mommy. I'm a bad guy? No, TJ. TJ is a bad guy. All right, so this is our team training site that you can start going through. Hey, eh, hey. Eh. <laughs> so what I want you to do is start, go to the start here. So you'll just go at the very top. Go find daddy, please. No, he's... He's downstairs. Go get him. Can you go give him a busy one a hug? <gasps> Ready? It's my sister, Huh? It's my sister, Who's here? Daddy, 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 too. Okay. Okay. So I created a new coach manual that mommy, you can download and mommy, print out. Mommy, mommy, mommy. You're already in our. Mommy, mommy. Yes. Daddy's place is here. Oh yeah. His place is here. His place is here. No, his place is here. I don't know. You're already in the Facebook group. Um, this is the video I'm doing right now. So we're already going over setting up your business, so you don't need to watch okay. it. I do want you to watch this. This is Finding Your Inner Belief with Josh Coates. He's a mentor to some of the top coaches in Beachbody, and he's amazing. And so okay. this is some personal development that you could watch like five times. I know some of my coaches have done that. They'll like watch it once, and then they'll just listen to it like on repeat um because it's it's just really really good you can sign up for your new coach video series so this is something that i put together um you'll get an email from me every two days with a different video or training to kind of help you progress in your coaching journey so what i want you to do is to make sure you respond to every email and just been like okay this is what i learned today this is what i'm doing okay okay and then this is just some important information about coaching um and then this is about launching your business. And so posting on social media that you are a coach and inviting people to join you in your first challenge group. Okay. Okay. And so that is something that, where do I want to cover that? We can talk about that right now. Um, so. What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um, I'm just taking, so this mommy, is, yes. I just up for the, I just, you took it off? I just took it off for you. Thank you. Yeah. Can you go play in your tent? 
Where's your tent? Go play in it. Well, I'll come. Come. I'll come as soon as I'm done. So this is the document on launching your it's business. My it's my tip. Okay. And so this is how you can launch, you know, either phone calls, text messages, letting people know that you're a coach and asking them to try Shakeology. Um, so this is an easy phone conversation that you could have with best friend, mom, niece, um, talking to them about Shakeology. Um, if you want to do a text conversation, you can do that too. And then, um, Facebook launch. And so I want you to launch on Facebook. I have all the steps in here on what you're going to do. So I'll open this up. And so I have some new coach post examples right here, but it's basically you sharing your story. And so how beach bodies changed your life, where you were before beach body, where were you unsatisfied? why you became a coach and how it's either already changed your life, you know, through fitness or what your goals are. Um, so I have some new coach post examples, but I want you to do is kind of write out your post and then send it to me so I can edit it and send it back to you. And you're just okay. going to do that with, you know, your progress pictures or a picture of you. And you're going to, is your profile set to public yet? Uh, no, no. So I probably need to get another one. Um, for like, cause I don't want my kids on there for public. Does that make sense? It makes sense. Um, you can actually, when you post something, what you can do, can you take him please? You can, um, decide on who sees it and so a lot of the okay. stuff that you want you can set it as public but if it's something about your kids friends only me okay so you do not need to set up a new facebook okay 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 um so with your new coach post i want you to write it out send it to me and then we're gonna post it we can do tomorrow at nine o'clock okay um Tomorrow, nine o'clock. I recommend nine o'clock because that's usually when most people are like scrolling on Facebook. Like kids are in bed. They're like, what should I do? I'll scroll on Facebook. Um, and then you can tag me in that new coach post. Okay. And then anyone who likes or comments on it, we're going to start sending them out messages. And so I have kind of like the follow-up steps to that new coach post. It's all in here in this document, which is all right here. It all started from the start here tab. Okay. 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 So it's all pretty simplified. Once you finish that, we'll get you plugged into level one training and our level two training group that starts on the first Monday in December. Okay. 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 So important back office information. So you know how to access your coach online office, right? Yeah. Okay, at the bottom left, you'll see my alerts. You'll see I have so many new coaches in my organization. Those are not people that you personally sponsored, but people that our team has sponsored and that are placed in your organization. So you don't need to reach out to them. Just know that once you become an Emerald coach, that it's gonna help with your volume, AKA income. Okay. And so you're going to earn a percentage off of everyone that's in your organization. And we're actually helping you build part of your organization, which is kind of cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, you'll also see if you have any coaches projected to be inactive. Um, if you see that you want to make sure you reach out to that person and see what's up. So, um, to be an active coach, you need 50 personal volume points. So it's like 50 bucks going through your business every month. If you're on Shakeology home direct, that's 90 PV you're active. And so if someone is projected to be inactive, maybe there was a credit card like error or something on Beachbody and their Shakeology wasn't processed or they canceled their Shakeology for some reason. So you want to make sure you reach out to that person and be like, Hey, what's up? Like I see you're projected to be inactive. Are you having a hard time with your own fitness journey or what's going on? Um, yeah. and so if someone goes inactive, so what happens, um, is we're helping you build your volume, like I said, and you'll have accrued volume points that you'll start to bank on once you build part of your organization. And if you go inactive, you lose all of that accrued volume. 
So right. it's kind of like throwing money away. So that's why you just want to make sure that you stay active, which you are, as long as you're being proof the product works and your coaches do too. Cool. You'll see that you have new customers, new coaches, any coaches you rank have changed, new leads, new emails. You can set up your emails to be forwarded to your regular email account if you want in your um, online office. If you go to settings and then email, um, okay. my business settings, email, something like that. Um, and then at the top right, you'll see coach breaking news. And so that's just kind of what I check every day. Um, you'll see about the national wake up call. That's every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Central. Um, and if you can't get on live, there's a team beach body podcast. And so you can download that and listen to all the recordings. Those are updated, um, like the day after. Okay. All right. Okay. So I already talked about being active. Um, you can download the Shakeology podcast too, and learn more about Shakeology. Um, I highly recommend doing that as part of your personal development, just so you can understand how important Shakeology is. And so you yeah. can kind of help other people see the value in it. Um, cause it's really freaking cool. All right. Let's talk about success club. Um, so Beachbody has a reward system called success club. And basically if you, if you help three people a month, get started with a challenge pack, you'll have six points and you'll hit success club. So every person that you help get started with the challenge pack, um, you'll get two points. And so if you help three people, you'll get six points, you hit success club. You need five points to hit success club five, 10 points to hit success club 10. Okay. Okay. So, um, if you hit success club your first three months as a coach, you will be a success starter and you're, you'll get your ticket to our annual coach summit for free, which is like a $300 value. Cool. Um, if you hit success club as an Emerald coach, which Emerald means you have two personally sponsored active coaches. One could be your husband and then a mom, a best friend, <laughs> whoever mine's my mom. Um, so mine was just my husband and my mom. Um, and you hit success club five beach ballast start sending you customer leads. So those are people who've ordered off the infomercial, um, and they assign them to a qualified coach and anything they order from your store at that point on, you get the commission. Cool. Yes. It's awesome. And then if you hit success club 10, meaning you help five people get started with the challenge pack every month, beach buyer will not only send you those customer leads, but they'll start sending you Shakeology customers. So those are people that are ordering Shakeology from you. A lot of times it's on home direct and they're your customer from that point on. Cool. Well, I'm not done yet. I'll be done in like 20 minutes. Okay. So success club, honestly, when I decided I wanted to build a business, I made success club non-negotiable. And so I've been in success club 10 for I think like 33 consecutive months or 34 consecutive months. Um, it's just consistency showing up every single day, um, and inviting people to your challenge groups. That's pretty much as long as you're doing your daily to do list, which I'll show you, you'll have no problems hitting success club every single month. Okay. And another reward of that is free vacations. Um, so we've been to Cancun, we've been on two cruises and Punta Cana. I told you I had a phone call at four. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Would have gotten through it a lot faster if TJ wasn't here. But that's okay. Um, so you can earn free vacations, um, if you hit success club consistently. So we'll find out the destination of 2018, um, in December, and then you'll be able to register shortly after that. Um, and so you'll definitely want to make sure that you register because you will hit success club every single month. I have no doubt. And you'll get that free vacation for your family. How cool would that be? That'd be cool. Yes. So you can see right in smack dab in the middle of your coach online office, if you've hit success club or not. And so, um, it's right in front of your face success club. And you'll see, um, one of the requirements to hit success club is that you have 90, home, um, PV. So you're on Shakeology home direct, right? Mm -hmm. And then you'll see, um, the points that you've accrued so far for the month. And it usually takes like two to three days for them to update your points. 
Um, so if it's like towards the end of the month and it says you're at four and you know you help someone get started with a challenge pack and you don't see it, I would just contact them to be sure. Um, <laughs> but my, my goal always in my own business is that I'm hitting success club 10 by the 10th or 15th of every month. So I'm never stressed out at the end of the month being like, Oh my gosh, I need to have more people. Um, so yeah. And then another requirement is that you are a club member. So you have access to beach body on demand. I think that's it. Okay. The vital process, which I'm actually doing a team call tomorrow on this. Um, and so this is building your team, um, the right way. So you have a stable foundation. So the first thing you want to do, get clients started in your challenge groups. So every day you're, um, posting on social media to attract clients to you. So you're sharing your own health and fitness journey. You're sharing your life. You're connecting and inviting people to join your next challenge group. And so I'll share with you my scripts that I use and how I invite and everything like that. Um, step two is getting them results. So you're helping people stick to their goals um, and really making sure you get help them get results. So they're in your challenge group. Um, what I started doing is I'm doing a getting started right call with my challengers, like I do with my coaches. Mm -hmm. So whenever they order a challenge pack, I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll do this, like either on Facebook or zoom and I'll do a face to face call, just go over their goals, um, their fears, their hesitations, what they struggle with. So I can make sure I'm there for them. Um, it, putting like your heart and soul into those challengers, it really pays off really, really does. Um, Okay. So step three, transition to coach. And so I used to post a lot about the income with Beachbody. And what I found is that I was attracting people who wanted to make money and bypass the work and bypass the helping people. Yeah. They came in and they saw that they didn't make a, a six figure income in two months. They pieced out. It was too hard. It was too much work. And they didn't have a belief in Beachbody and our programs and what they offered. And so I've made a huge shift the past couple months and I want lifers in my business. I want people that are using the programs that love Shakeology that have had a transformation or they're in the middle of their transformation and they're loving it. Those are the people I want on my team because those are the people that make the best coaches and they're not going anywhere. And so if you have someone in your challenge group that either has gotten awesome results or they're showing up every day and they're being consistent and they're encouraging and motivating and inspiring, those are the people you want to invite to the coaching opportunity. And so I usually just say, have you ever considered becoming a coach? Like, I think you'd be so great at it because you're already doing what I'm doing. You're just not getting paid for it. Or I think it would really benefit you because, you know, whatever it is that you think that um, after you talk to them that they, you know, that they need. Um, so that's how I transition people to coaches on our team. And then step four, develop and mentor those coaches. So as a new coach, you know, you're, you might not be able to mentor them right off the bat, but that's where I'll help you. Yeah. And so we'll get your new coaches on a call like this. Cause I do this all the time for our team and I'll kind of help you help them get started. And you can plug them into our level two training group, into our team's process, our team training site and all that stuff. So we can mentor them together. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I already talked about launching your business and your grand opening. So that's just kind of your story. Um, and then challenge groups. So what kind of challenge groups should you run? Um, what I do every single month without fail. And ever since I started doing this, I've had so many people to talk to and invite is I run a free challenge group every single month. And so I'll do like a sugar detox group or a free clean eating group. Um, and I'll do that group and I'm going to put a lot of work and a lot of effort into those groups and then get them results. Right? So I'm doing like a seven day group. And after that seven days, I'm inviting them to join me in a long-term challenge group because they've seen the results. They've seen how much being part of a supportive group community will benefit them. And then when I ask them to join my challenge group, they're like, well, heck yeah, I want to continue on with this and keep up the momentum. Sometimes they'll say no, um, cause they don't see the value in it quite yet. Um, most people will tell you no the first time you invite them, but it's just a not right now. They just need to, they don't see the value in it yet, but they'll keep watching you and they'll, <laughs> they'll join your free group. And they'll realize they're having a hard time on their own. And that's when they'll hit 
like a breaking point, you know, like Tony Robbins says it's, um, they hit that, like where they, they, it has to change right now. And so at that point, because you've been consistent in social media and you've been consistent in following up with them, they're going to come back to you and say, I'm ready now. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Um, so free group. And then, um, it's really important that you're sharing your own transformation, your own fitness results. Um, and then for challenge groups, you know, you can do what I'm doing right now. I'm just doing an ongoing challenge group. So when people are getting a challenge pack, I'm just adding them to that group and introducing them and welcoming them. I've done start date, end date, 21 days. I've done 90 days. It's honestly trial and error. <laughs> I'm like, I'll try this. Does this work? I'll try this. It's like, I don't even know. Um, so try something and see if it works for you. If it flops, okay, try something else. Um, I usually don't require everyone to do the exact same program because people are going to have different goals and different needs. Um, okay. some, someone might already have a program, so I'll re- suggest something different for them. Um, and some people are going to require Shakeology to be in their groups. I don't. Um, our top coach, Melanie Metro for three years in a row did not purchase a challenge pack from her coach. She did not purchase Shakeology. She couldn't afford it. She borrowed, um, I think insanity max 30 from a friend and ended up loving the challenge group and became a coach and then purchased Shakeology when she could afford it. And now is the top coach three years in a row. So I just help everybody. I don't require them to purchase Shakeology. I have some people from other countries that can't, don't have access to Shakeology in my groups. I just want to help them. All right. We already talked about personal development, um, daily to-do list. And so I'm actually going to pull up the business activity tracker so I can show you this. I need to include this in here. So I want you to print this out and let me zoom in. Okay. So this is what I do every single day. I print this out for the week and I write down the week, what my rank goals are, everything like that. And then what my goal is and what I'm doing every day. And so this takes me about an hour. I sit down and okay. Did I do my workout? Did I drink my shake? Check, check. Did I do personal development? And I write down what I did. Yeah. I do a check that I check the coach online office, um, the coach monthly, um, breaking coach news. Did I listen to the national wake up call? Check our team Facebook group. And then I post on social media. And so you can actually schedule your posts in advance. Hootsuite.com is free. Mm -hmm. And so you can schedule, I schedule at least three to five posts every day. I also try to post live too, um, but I find if I schedule them, I at least know I have content going out that day. So if I get busy or something, um, I'm not like stressed about it. And then I make new contacts. And so this could be friends of friends on Facebook. This could be you joining a Facebook group and making friends in there. This could be you connecting with people on Instagram, Um, but every day you're making new contacts. Okay. Okay. And then every day you're inviting people to join a challenge group. All right. And I'll share with you kind of the scripts and everything that I use. Um, And so it says here two to five new people every day. It, it depends on what your goals are and how fast you want this to happen. So two to five is kind of the bare minimum. I do 10. And so I set my standard of every day I'm going to have 10 new contacts. Every day I'm going to invite 10 people to a challenge group. And I don't stop until I have 10. Okay. And then invite to learn about the business. And so you want to make sure you do at least five people a week. So these are people in your free challenge group or your regular challenge group or someone you think would be an awesome coach that you're inviting to learn more about the business and just asking that question, Hey, have you ever considered becoming a coach? I think it would really benefit you because, or I think you'd be really great at it because. And then follow up. So here you can have a follow up list of who you're talking to the fortunes and the follow up. So how long did you follow me before you signed up? A long time. (laughs) So you got to be patient with people. They say it takes like seven connections or seven invites or whatever for them to actually sign up. So you got to be patient. And just follow up with them, see how they're doing. So if someone was in my free clean eating group and they didn't sign up for a challenge group, I had them on my follow-up list and I follow up with them the next month. 
I'm like, all right, how are you doing right now? Let's check in. Are you, do you need help with your goals? Are you doing a great job? If they're rocking it on their own, awesome. But a lot of times they're not, and they're just haven't admitted that they need help. So they need me to, you know, be consistent and check in with them. The fortune is in the follow-up. And then I'll check in with my existing customers. So checking into my challenge groups, making sure I'm posting in there. And then I'm messaging my um, people who have purchased a challenge pack from me at least once or twice a week, just so they know that I'm there and I'm checking in on them. And then I'm connecting with my team. So I'm posting in our team page. I'm adding value, checking in with my, um, my coaches. So I'll show you really quickly. The messages that I send, oh, not that one, this one. So I am posting either a fitness picture or a transformation picture or something about my, my fitness journey. And anyone who likes or comments on that post, I'm sending them this message. Hey, whatever their name is. I'm starting my next support group in a week and I have a few spots left. I'm excited to help people actually lose weight over the holidays. It's going to be a ton of fun. Do you want me to send you some info about it? I'll just copy this and send it to you right now. Okay, so a lot of times they'll say yes, I want more info, and I just use this script. So I'll share this with you too. So another one that I'll do if someone, um, so I send this one, and then I also send, um, I'll just say, Hey girl, thanks for the love on my post about my progress with P90X. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be like, I really like the support or enjoy it. I really appreciate the support. Are you interested in learning more about my next challenge group? So that's an invite. Both of these are invites. That's a challenge group invite. And I'll do 10 of those every single day. Cool. All right. Um, okay. So that's what we do every day. Do you have any questions about that? The business activity tracker. So no. I want to make sure that you're filling that out and that you send it to me okay. every single week. Because if you're struggling for whatever reason, I'll be able to see what's up from that activity tracker. I'll be like, this is what we need to work on. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, stay connected. So the national wake-up call, like I said, is every Monday at 11 Eastern. Hi. Um, our team Zooms, these kind of change with me being in France and I'll be in the States in six months. So it's tomorrow at 12 o'clock Eastern time. Um, and then I already told you about the Team Beachbody podcast, Shakeology podcast. Uh, Super Saturday is our quarterly event. So we have Coach Summit, which is our annual event that's in, um, I think it's in June this year, um, which you definitely need to make sure you go to. You'll get your free ticket being a success starter. And then Super Saturday is every quarter. And so the next one is going to be the beginning of January. I think it's January 6th or 7th. 7th? Um, so you can go to tbbcoach411.com forward slash super dash Saturday. And that's where you'll be able to click on an interactive map and see the ones that are near you. Because there will be one near you. Uh, okay. So that's pretty awesome. And then I already talked about signing up for our team newsletter. Or no, I did not talk about that. Hold on. So team newsletter right here. So there's two things you need to sign up for right here. Name, email, sign up. OK. 
Okay. Okay. Um, how are you with time management? Uh, I'm pretty good. Um, you're an emerald pearl, so you're good. Yeah. It's just finding the actual time mm -hmm. because I work all day mm -hmm. and um, we basically have to leave my house at 7 a.m. to get kids to school on time, me to, me to work. So there's not a lot of time in the morning. So I think most of it will be happening during my lunch time and then um, before I go to bed. So it, that's going to be the hardest part. And then somewhere in there, I need to actually work out and yep. <laughs> dinner, do all that stuff. So that it'll be interesting. It'll probably be a lot slower than most of this, um, but it'll happen. Yeah. I think lunch break, because I showed you the business activity tracker. You can plug that out in an hour. Yeah. So you could easily do that during lunch break and then work out when you get home. Yeah, that's what I do. Um, I think my thing is just trying to figure out how to, because I really want to keep it separate on my Facebook. Like, I want to be able to um, know, I don't know, like, because I'm not really active on my personal Facebook. So people know, like, whenever I put anything on there, that it's worth looking at and I don't want to overwhelm the people and lose like actual friends because they don't want to follow me because they're not on a fitness journey. So that's something that we talk about in level two is posting on social media. So uh -huh. you follow me. Do you ever feel annoyed or that I post too much about fitness? No, because I'm interested in it. But you'll also notice that I post about a lot of stuff that have nothing to do with fitness. Yeah. So I post about me, the things that interest me in my life. And so I'll post stuff, you know, about coffee. <laughs> yeah. I'll post stuff about my faith. I'll post stuff about my family and travel um, and like wine and chocolate, which I haven't posted about in a while because I've been so on point with my diet. Um, I'm like not even going into temptation. Um, but so I'm not just posting about fitness and I'm not only like that fitness chick or that annoying beach body girl. I don't, I don't even really post about beach body that often. Um, the biggest thing is that you're just you and you share your life and you share your journey. And if you have 10 people coming up to you saying, wow, thank you so much for sharing your journey. Thank you so much for sharing your story. And you have one person that's like, I'm going to unfollow her because she's annoying. Wouldn't it be worth it to have the 10 that you helped? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because you're going to have haters no matter what you do. And if you don't have haters, then you're not doing enough. Yeah. Yeah. But you won't have any if you're just being you. Right. I think that'll be the, it'll take a while for me to get used to everything. <laughs> oh yeah. I, you're not going to be jumping in and doing like a hundred percent everything perfectly from day one, but as long as you are doing, I don't right. want you to sit there because emeralds have a tendency to overanalyze and yeah. And they'll be like, oh my gosh, I have to have this perfect, or I have to have this post perfect, or this, like, and I can't start until everything's perfect. You just need to do. Okay. And so before you double, triple, quadruple check your post, just post. You can, like, read through it once and be like, okay, that's cool. And then post. You know, like, before you send out an invite, you can't think, what is this person going to think about me? Are they going to say no? Are they going to think I'm annoying? Are they going to la la invite. Cause if yeah. you spend all of that time over analyzing, you're going to get nothing done and you're not going to get any results. Okay. And your power hour will take a day. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to get 10 invites done in an hour. You'll get maybe one because you've been analyzing it all and overthinking. Right. Okay.
you just got to do. Yeah. A good book for you, Fail Forward by John Maxwell. And you can actually, um, if you want the hard copy book, you can do that, but it's on YouTube too for free. Oh, cool. Okay. That's a really good one. Okay. Um, so time management. Um, so you kind of have already set out like the hours of what you're going to do, but like anything, if you treat this like a hobby, it's going to pay you like a hobby. And so a lot of people sign up and they'll just do it when it's convenient. And so the days when family's in town or they're too busy or kids have soccer practice, yada, 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 they, the business falls apart and they don't do their power hour. But those are the days that really make or break your success. And so consistency is the most important thing that you can have in this business. It really is because I showed you the power hour. It's nothing special, right? Right. But most people aren't consistent with it and that's why they're not successful. Okay. But one thing that you have going for you as an Emerald Pearl is that you are consistent with stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So you show up and you're determined and you're going to do it. Um, so that is awesome. So, I mean, if you treat this like a million dollar business that it has the potential to be, because I, I told you about the guy that invented coaching codes, he's earning a million dollars doing this. Um, mm -hmm. There are, I don't even know how many millionaires Beachbody has now, but a lot. Um, if you treat it like that million dollar business, it'll pay you like a business. And so there's a call from one of the top coaches, Lindsay Matway. Um, she did a national makeup call. It's in the podcast archives. If you just search Lindsay Matway. Um, and she said when she signed up um, to become a coach, she was bankrupt. Her, she had $400,000 of medical debt, but she signed up and treated this like she just invested a hundred thousand dollars into a franchise. And so she sat down and she worked her tail off and within a year she was making between like a thousand to $1,500 a week. Mm -hmm. Within two years, she was making $3,000 a week. Her third year anniversary, she was making $20,000 a week. Wow. She worked her tail off um, yeah. to do that. And Beach Pride does not guarantee any level of success or income with the coaching opportunity. Obviously you have to work. Um, but that's kind of what's possible if you treat this like a business and not just right. some little hobby. Um, okay. So we talked about goal setting. Was that yesterday? Yesterday? Who knows? I don't even, <laughs> Okay, good. You're like me. I'm like, I don't even know. Um, so we have the goal of a thousand dollars a week a year from now. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. So I want you to write that down. Okay. I earn a thousand dollars a week or more by and set the date. Okay. Okay. And then let's break it down into 12 week goals. So where do you want to be 12 weeks from now? Uh, probably just um, business wise. Anything. Anything. Uh, Probably just more confident and um, social media because I know that's a big thing. Like social media is a big need for this. So probably just be more comfortable and organized with that and probably just overall be comfortable with what I'm doing and kind of knowledgeable, mm -hmm. not so confused. So what do you need to do to make that happen? Um, some of the training and actually go through it, go through the training. So probably be done with training. I don't know. I don't know how long the tra training takes. So I'll show you a couple things. Okay. So on our team training site, if you want to go through all of the training on your own time and you don't want to have to wait for level two, I have um, 
right here is we have all of the level two training stuff right there. And so it's going to talk about social media, um, coach basics. So everything is right there. Um, and then what else did I want to show you? I'll show you where you can access our team Google drive. Cause what I wanted to talk to you about really quickly is setting 12 week goals. Um, there's a book actually called the 12 week year. It's really, really, really good. That's one of the best personal development books that I've actually read. Um, so this is pinned to the top of our Google drive. And so obviously setting the goal of a thousand dollars a week for a year from now is good, but so much can happen in a year. So I'd rather have us break it down into 12 week goals. Right. So 12 weeks from now, this is what I want. 12 weeks from now, this is what I want. Um, and so that's kind of what I did. I'm, I think I'm like two or three weeks into my first 12 weeks. I've already paid off $2,000 of debt. My goal is 6,000. Um, I've already lost four pounds of my 15. And I've like, it, it's so easy to break down. It's really cool. Um, so this is our Google drive. And I'm going to click on the personal development folder and then the 12 week year. And this is lesson one. So you can actually print this out and fill it out. And so he's going to have you think about what your vision is for the future. Five, 10, 15 years from now, what do you want? And then setting three specific 12 week goals to help mm -hmm. that align with that vision. And then he's gonna have you break it down into a 12 week plan. And so for this goal, what weekly actions do I need to take? Goal one, goal two, goal three. What will I struggle with to take these actions? What do I do, need to do to overcome them? It's so simple. So, so simple. So this is homework for you. I want you to fill this out. Okay. And so we'll set your three month goals. Okay. So Rome was not built in a day. Neither was your business. Do I have your commitment that you'll be here a year from now, no matter what? Yeah. Okay, good. Because I sucked for two years before I got my crap in gear. <laughs> I did. I had fun, but it wasn't until I had a strong enough why that we were pregnant on food stamps that I decided I made the decision that I was going to make things happen no matter what. Right. So it, some people sign up and they have that strong why. You have a strong why. Um, and some of us struggle. So I struggled for a little bit until I had that strong why. But it might take, you know, a couple months for you to get in a good rhythm, good routine, and things are starting to click. It usually takes people like three to six months for them to start getting results on social media and people start committing because they're watching you, right? I said they're watching you. Um, they're going to say no that first time you invite them. But by the seventh time, they'll be like, okay, I'm watching this chick and she's getting results and she's helping other people. What's going on? I'm ready for this. Um, so yeah, that's it. Okay. I know that was a lot, but I recorded this and it's going to be on YouTube. I have, I've done a bazillion of these. They're all on YouTube. So you can watch it again as a refresher if you want. Repetition is the mother of skill. Um, and obviously we're here for you to help you get results. Um, when can we chat next? I want to chat after you do, cause you're going to launch your business tomorrow. So I would love to chat after that. Um, after that, it would have to be probably on a lunch hour. So like new, like 12, 15 central time. Mm -hmm. 7, 15, my time in the morning or not at night. What? You? Not at night for you. Not night for me. Where did my phone go? God, it's already like dark, dark, dark here. <laughs> <laughs> 
And the men left without me. And they will have fun. Um, okay, so Tuesday, 7.15. I could do that. Or before work, maybe. Ugh. Is that too How long for you? It'll How just long? be a quick check in. So it's not going to be an hour call. It'll be okay. like 15 minutes. So we'll just go over like who has liked your post, how are we reaching out? And following up. Yeah, we could do it before uh, at like 7.30 ish. 8.30, I think that's like 3.30 my time. I need my phone. Where did my phone go? If I don't like put it in my calendar, it won't happen. Yeah. <laughs> I have to have I it, otherwise I would completely forget and then leave you stranded. Oh no. Where did you go? Oh, found it. okay. <sighs> Hallelujah. So I think it's 2.30 for me. Tuesday, November 29th, 2.30. Pretty soon I will be on state's time in four days. For how long though? Six weeks. Oh, wow. Okay, I have you in at 2.30 Tuesday. Um, so I want you to get to work on um, the Start Here tab and writing out your, um, your new coach post so you can send it to me and I can check it over for you. Um, okay. Definitely get it to me by tomorrow because I'm okay. going to have it back to you by 9 o'clock your time. Okay. Yeah, to me at like 8 o'clock your time tomorrow, I will already be asleep. <laughs> And I will not be able to send it back to you. Um, yeah, so well, I'll just look a lot. But like I, said, I can't hear you. Uh oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I was like covering the mic. Um, I know this was a lot, but like I said, repetition is the mother of skill. And so the longer you just stick around, it's going to go in your head. It's going to make more and more sense the longer you're around. But like I said in the beginning, the most important thing is you your transformation, right. you doing hammer and chisel, you helping other people. That's the most important thing. Right. Okay. You have any questions? Uh, not yet. <laughs> you will. It's okay. But we're talking on Tuesday. And if you have any questions <laughs> until then, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you on Tuesday. All right. Sounds good. Bye. Bye.